Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this flower piece, then please keep watching. So for today's DIY, I'm going to be using a 16 by 40 inch canvas. I picked up five of these little plastic flowers from my local Dollarama. I thought they would look really, really pretty today for what I wanted to do. I'm going to be covering them today with this modeling paste. It's handy art. I get this from Amazon. I really love this stuff. It's nice and pliable and it's fairly inexpensive. I'll leave a link in my description box. And I have some palette knives, some plastic palette knives. I just get these from my local dollar store. Now I'm just going to move this stuff away and I will show you the paint colors and the bling that I'm going to be using. Okay, so I have all my paints and my bling laid out. I will leave a complete list of all the items that I end up using in my description box, and I will point them out as I'm using them. My paints today are a blue quartz folk art. This is such a pretty color. Pearl Craft Smart. Deep Midnight Blue. A silver Artist Loft. Iridescent white Liquitex and just a plain white Craftsmart. I'm going to be putting a base coat on my canvas with this. I have a white spray paint and a bright coat silver Rust Oleum. For my frame, I have this beautiful bling wrap. I picked it up from Amazon. I will leave a link in my description box. And I have these little stickers that I picked up from my local dollar store. I will be using those in my frame today as well. And I have these little gems that I ordered from totallydazzled.com. I thought I would use those as the center of my large flowers. This is some filler, vase filler, Ashland brand from Michaels. It's got the little crystals on the face of it. And then the underside is silver. This stuff's really pretty. It comes in the same kind of a jug as my crushed glass. And I have some round gems and some ice cube, some ice cube gems here. I have some Elmer's glue. I have some painter's tape that I need for my frame. E6000, my glue gun, some brushes. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so five flowers fit perfectly on this size of a canvas. So I want to do my flowers first because I want modeling paste to start drying. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is pull apart this flower. I'm just going to take the back off. Okay, I won't be using this piece. So that's going to make it easier for me to work with. Now I'm just going to take some of my modeling paste. See how nice and pliable that is? This stuff is awesome. I love it. Okay, and now I'm going to be putting these flowers back together after I um, paint them. So I want to make sure that I don't have a lot of modeling paste right here so they fit back nice and snugly. They kind of snap into one another. There's a little, little piece here and then it fits right in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding some of my modeling paste to the petals just kind of make a little bit of a design for myself get some nice texture in there and 
and I only want enough modeling paste to cover the bottom. I don't want to load it up because I don't want the flowers to get too heavy on me. I don't want them to end up pulling on my canvas. Just like so. So I'm going to continue doing all of my flowers with the modeling paste off camera. And I think I'm going to run to the dollar store and pick up maybe two or three more of these because I have another idea that I want to do on this canvas. Okay, the modeling paste on my flowers is all dry and I ran to the dollar store. I picked up a few more because I, I know this seems like a lot, but I'm not going to be putting them all on like this and you'll see what I mean later on in the video. Um, I do want to spray paint all of these. These ones here, I'm just going to keep plain. I'm not going to add any modeling paste to them. And for these ones, I'm only going to be spray painting the back side because I'm going to be painting my petals with some acrylic paint. And I'm just going to be using a semi-gloss white for this. And when I was in the dollar store, <laughs> look at these. Look at these leaves. I found these. They didn't have these the other day. Um, and they are going to be perfect for my piece today. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these all white as well. Once I'm done that, I will bring you back. Okay, so the spray paint is all dry on my flowers and my leaves, and I have more flowers off camera. I'm just showing you the different flowers that I'm going to be using. I have one that is all modeling paste. I have one where I've combined modeling paste on the top petals, and then the bottom one is just a flat. And then this one is going to be all flat. I'm just going to use this part of the flower in flat. And then I'm also going to be using just the centers. And one has the modeling paste, one is just flat paint. And I actually have three of those. And then all of my leaves are all painted as well. I only use the white spray paint basically as a primer. Okay, so the next step is to paint all of my flowers and I don't have these put together yet. I'm not ready to do that until they're all painted. And I'm going to start with my deep midnight blue deco art. Gonna add a little on my plate here. Easy peasy. Okay, so the next color that I want to use is my blue quartz. And I'm going to paint the large flower that I have no modeling paste on. And I've decided that I need to paint the underside as well on the bigger pieces and the small pieces because I'll be able to see a little bit of the white paint from underneath when I'm when I glue it onto the canvas and I don't want that. This is such a beautiful color. Okay. 
Isn't that a pretty color? Okay, I'm just going to let the underside dry before I do the top side of it. Okay, so the next color that I want to use is my Pearl Craftsmart. It's metallic. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm going to be painting all of my leaves in the pearl and then this large flower. I've got the smooth petals at the bottom and then the remaining petals are textured. And I think what I'm going to do with my leaves because I didn't put any modeling paste on them. In hindsight, I think they would have looked really nice with some modeling paste, but that's okay. I'm going to kind of dab my pearl paint on top and kind of lift it. And I am going to be painting the sides as well, the lip. I'm not smoothening it out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, the fourth and final color for my flowers is Artist Loft Silver. give you a little look and there's the silver. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of my flowers off camera. I'm going to put two coats of each on the bottom, let it dry, and then I will flip it over and do two coats of the color on the top side as well. So once all this is done, I will bring you back. Okay, so my flowers are all painted and now I need to put them back together again and then bling them up. And I just wanted to point out a couple of things. I ended up using my Rust-Oleum spray paint just on this layer of petals here. And it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. And I'm going to be using these little gems from totallydazzled.com. I love them. They're flat back. I will leave a link in my description box. I'm going to remove two layers of the petals because they will sit nice and flat like that. For my silver one, I thought I would remove the two and add a blue one on there. I thought that would look really pretty. So I'm going to remove some of these flowers so it doesn't look so busy. Okay, so the next step that I need to do is glue all of my petals back together. And I'm just going to follow the octagon pattern. There's an octagon here. And then make sure that all of my petals are offset from the ones underneath. Right? Just like so. Okay, and I'm just going to take my hot glue gun. Angus is eating a gate. If you watch my videos frequently, you'll you'll hear my dog eating sometimes downstairs when I'm working. Hey, 
Easy peasy. Now my flower is back together again. Okay, and then I have one of my little gems here. And I'm just going to put some hot glue around the rim. Hot glue can get very, very hot. And just move it around so it sits nice and flat. Oh, that's so, so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to add some of this filler. It's vase filler, Ashland brand from Michaels. And I just want to add it on these petals. I'm just going to use some clear Elmer's glue. Just going to move it around a little bit in my petal. Okay, so now that my flowers are basically all finished, I want to start working on my canvas. And I'm going to put a base coat of Craftsmart White. There's gesso on these canvases. You don't really need to put a base coat on, but for this particular one, I do. Okay, and now I'm going to let that completely dry. Okay, so now I'm going to put a couple of coats of iridescent white Liquitex on my canvas. And this is a thicker paint, so I'm going to spray my canvas with a bit of water just to help the paint flow a little bit better. And also my brush. This has a really nice pearl sheen color to it. That is such a beautiful, beautiful sheen on that. So I'm going to let this dry and I may or may not have to put another coat on it because of the white base coat that I put on there, but I'll let you know when I come back. Okay, so I put two coats of the iridescent white on this and if I wanted to make this a little bit more solid, I could probably put on a third coat but I really like the effect 
of this with the white paint underneath. It's almost like a barn wood brush stroke effect. So now I need to paint my border in my deep midnight blue. And what I want to do is I'm going to end up framing it out like this all the way around with my wide bling wrap. And then I'm going to use just one of these little strips along like that. And now I have to decide how wide I want the midnight blue paint strip. And I'm thinking about like this. So that's about a half an inch wide. I'm going to bring it in an inch and three quarters. So I'm going to do an inch and three quarters all the way around. I'm just going to make some little pencil marks here. Okay, I'm going to mark an inch and three quarters all the way around my canvas and then I'm going to take my painter's tape and tape it off. Okay, so now I'm going to take my deep midnight blue and paint all the way around my frame, including the sides. And I know that I'm going to have that wide bling wrap covering most of this, but I don't wanna to have to concern myself with not having enough blue paint around my frame, so I'm just going to paint it all out. And who knows, I may end up changing my mind for my frame. <laughs> I've, I've been known to do that. And I want to just be careful not to splash any of this midnight blue onto this part of my canvas. Just going to take my time. Okay, so my canvas is all dry with this beautiful deep midnight blue framing around it. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use my um, bling wrap around here. What I want to do first is just kind of place my flowers onto my canvas where I think that I will want them. And then I have my little dark blue centers here. I haven't put a gem in the middle yet. I'm not too sure what I want to do there. Mm. I'm gonna eliminate that one. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave my dark blue frame without my big wide bling wrap and add this, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to use these jewel borders and outline all the way around my canvas. And they have a self-adhesive backing. So I'm going to start in this corner. I don't think I'm going to add any extra glue on these. I think they will be fine. Okay, so I have my bling wrap all the way around my canvas and I am so loving this. This is going to look so, so pretty. And what I want to do now is just place my flowers on my canvas again. What I'm going to end up doing, these little holes right here, I'm going to use the same bling, I think. And then something 
that in the smaller blue ones. Okay, so now that I have my flowers on my canvas, I'm going to glue these down. And I am going to use some E6000. Just going to add a little bit here. And I'll just take my hot glue gun and press my petals down. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I'm quite far back so that you can see the overall design. And I'll bring you in nice and close here. Oh, I love this. And I used the extra flowers and I just hung them on the wall. And then I have one, of course, down here. I normally have an old window that I refurbished hanging here. This isn't going to be where I'm going to be hanging this particular piece, but I wanted it on a blue wall so that you guys could see it on a blue wall. I love these flowers and then putting the modeling paste on just a few of them. And I left this paint raw. I did not want it to be shiny along with my frame. And I'm really glad that I just went with the single bling around my frame. That's perfect. I love this blue quartz color. It's beautiful. And if you did do something like this, you don't need to buy these little buttons from totallydazzle.com. You could just use um, some acrylic gems like I did here in this one. You can kind of see the hole in behind it a little bit. And then these little leaves, oh, what a score when I went to Dollarama. And even then you could just use some silk flowers if you can't find any of the little wooden ones, right? These pieces are just to get you inspired to do stuff, right? And I hope that this one has done that for you. And if you can't find these little plastic flowers at your local dollar store, like in Canada, I'm, I'm picking them up at Dollarama, right? But I'm sure you can get things like this at Walmart. Even if you find things like this at thrift stores, right? So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It feeds the algorithm. It pushes my videos out there. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch, and God bless.